Welcome to Lesson 34, where we're going to talk about how to pass objects into functions. We're going to build on the learning that we did in the previous lesson with the classes and the prototypes and the objects and pass an entire object into that. So let's take a look at what that might look like. I've got a class called item and here I have nothing in the initialize. So when I do create a new object, it's not going to actually do anything in this case. Then I've got a function called debug object. A debug object is going to take an object and simply do a GS info and say, here's your object. So this doesn't seem that extreme on the, on the front end. So don't worry too much about what it's actually doing. The concept is I'm going to pass an entire object in here. My object is going to be uh, a type has, which has a vehicle, engine is true, wheels for, just some name value properties. And I'm going to create a new item and throw my object in here. Now, this is going to run like this, where I go to get an output that says, here's what the object structure looks like. It doesn't say this is my object. I don't have the name of this thing. Now, this is what is called loosely coupled. I can change my object definition. I could change the script up here without impacting what objects are being sent in. So this is loosely coupled. If the, if the class and the function, if the object and the functions are not dependent on each other, it's loosely coupled. This will print any object. I could send it an integer and it will happily print a single number. However, if I were to say, I expect a first name, and a last name, like in the previous video. If I were to change something in the object model or the API, and suddenly the code that's using that needs to be refactored, that's where I have an issue. That's tightly coupled. So if you ever run across those terms, tightly coupled and loosely coupled, recognize that it's the, the dependency of the data and the, the script that it works on. That's what's coupled or excuse me, the script that works on it. So that's real simply passing objects. They're a great way to send a lot of information into a function, as I've alluded to before, and a great way to pass it back. I could return an entire object as we did in an earlier example with an array of objects. So hope that was informative. Join us for the next video. Thanks for watching.